Hello everyone, today we're going to be making our jerk chicken and oxtails, so let's get to it. On the screen you will see the ingredients that we will be using for this dish. Any substitutions that you would like to make, go ahead and make them for yourself. I love this jerk chicken recipe, I love Jamaican food, I love oxtails. And today I just wanted to do both. So we're going to start off uh, by opening up our chicken packs. We're going to get this chicken chopped up into some smaller pieces. Just so it's easier to manage and it soaks up a lot more of that seasoning. And also that jerk sauce. And I'm using my serrated knife here and also my cleaver. Some of these bones in this chicken little bit hard to get through. I'm going to go ahead and get this cut up. And I won't have to be cutting up the oxtail, that's for sure. But the chicken, yeah, we did want to get that broken down into some smaller pieces just so it's easier to work with, like I said. You do want it to absorb as much of that flavor on all sides of the meat as possible. see that that serrated edge is really having problems with that bone but that's where we have our cleaver come in when necessary when we need it to go ahead and give us a little muscle in there and I have my camera already set up or I could have been on a better surface so that my cutting board wouldn't be sliding all over the place Hey, but where there's a will, there's a way is what I've been told. So let's get at it. We're going to get through this thing together. Okay, and we got our chicken pieces all chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and rinse those off thoroughly. And here we're going to go ahead and rinse our oxtails. Get those rinsed off thoroughly also. And don't worry, all the dishes in the left side of the sink are clean, and I will be using them frequently, so that's why I didn't put them away, because they will be getting plenty of use in this recipe. And here we sprinkle some of our seasoned salt, a light coating of our seasoned salt, and our peppercorn medley. I love that medley, it just gives it enough just enough heat and also it has an amazing flavor that it adds to anything you add to it and as you can see we have light coating of the seasoning and the peppercorns on the chicken and the oxtails so we're going to go ahead and let that sit in the sink and soak up that seasoning and cut up our habaneros and all of our ingredients, we're going to get those chopped up, sliced up, so that we can get them into our blender. And here you can see some thyme, we're cutting up a little bit of thyme, some rosemary, ginger, bell pepper. This, ingredient, this, this jerk sauce really does have a lot of flavor, lots of ingredients, the aroma starting it just the aroma of all of the fresh ingredients is amazing and here you see our bell peppers chopped up our red onions our habaneros and we get ready to do our green onions another red onion here some fresh garlic here we're also going to squeeze a lemon into there, strain a lemon into the sauce, I should say. And here we have our cilantro, a little bit of allspice, and some oregano there. Definitely got to have that cayenne, that cayenne pepper in there also, a little more heat to it. Now you can see how clear that is and we're adding everything in there. 
putting that in the blender. If you have a food processor, then that's even better. But me, I'm going to make this blender sing and make it work. Chopping up everything here, getting everything in there. I don't wanna, I don't wanna stress my blender, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure everything is small enough to be accommodated in the blender. I did wanna go ahead and get those skins off of the garlic and the outer layer also off of those red onions. That outer layer is the drier layer not as fresh as the layer beneath that. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. Get to that inner layer. Cut this all up and get it off in there. And at this point with the garlic and the onions and the peppers, I don't know if I'm laughing or crying, but we're getting it done and that's all that matters. use probably about maybe half half of a half of a whole plume of garlic I didn't count how many cloves it was but about a half a plume of garlic and you see my Tony Shashiri sitting in the background that's that Louisiana stuff man gotta have it Gotta have it. People use whatever seasoning you desire, but for me it's gotta be Tony's. Okay, we're gonna continue adding this all, all of these fresh spices. I didn't think that I needed to cut down the green onions too much just to cut the bottoms off and quick run through. I tell you the aroma in there is really amazing. Really amazing. If you look in the background you can see that I have two more packs of chicken to do and more oxtails to do. You guys get to see one batch, but my family's coming over, and when, when we get together, we do some eating. We're not ashamed to eat. So you get to see me do one batch, but after this batch, I still had a few other batches to do. <laughs> but they all came out pretty good. Everybody loved them. We all had a ball, and I just wanted to share this recipe with you. See, I'm removing that outer skin on the onion. Get to the fresher skin beneath that layer. I think I need a new set of knives. A knife sharpener isn't getting them as sharp as it used to. But hey, we're all getting older. None of us are as sharp as we used to be. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get our, in, our onion, our red onion, all chopped up. Throw in there also. It's one of those things where everything's in there but the kitchen sink. Giving my blender a nice workout. Keeping it in shape. Okay, I had a little onion powder in there and a little garlic powder also just to add to the fresh that's already in there, the fresh ingredients. Okay, a little Tony's right in there never hurt anyone. And a little Tony's right in the blender. And you can see that hesitation there. That's because I'm laughing and crying at the same time at this point. 
little more of the peppercorn medley straight into the blender also. Okay, okay. Grinding. That's what they call it, grinding. gives it some of that good color ah and I forgot about the chicken broth and I did put about a quarter cup of chicken broth in there I used the, the low sodium but like I said use what suits you what you like best the low sodium is good for me I'm trying to keep my blood pressure down as you can imagine Okay, and we're gonna get this thing blended up, get everything in motion, and as the blender starts to work, the aroma really pops, that smell is so aromatic, it is amazing, I almost wanted to drink it straight out of the blender, it really smelled that good, but I didn't, I saved it for the meat. I wanted this blended and whipped, like they say, whip it good, I wanted it whipped, but like there was no obstacles to my grubbing, when I started eating, I don't want anything in the way, everything has to be fluent and smooth, okay, and this is where the rubber meets the road, we're going to go ahead and start coating our meat with the jerk sauce, getting everything set up to give it a nice dip, and you can see how smooth that jerk sauce is, and when you pour it in there, that aroma just goes everywhere, it smells so good, I can't tell you how good that smells. stick spray on my pans but since this one already has a non-stick coating just dipping them and going straight into the pan with them trying to keep the jerk the uh, oxtails on one end of the pan so that I can uh, put the chicken on the other end of the pan and you can see the color is a little darker now with that jerk sauce on there Okay, and we're finishing up dipping the last few pieces of chicken in there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm always constantly rinsing and washing, so. We're gonna put the remainder of that and just pour that all on there. We're gonna use every drop of it. We're gonna just have it soaking in that because this is going to soak overnight this is just the marinade portion this is going to go overnight in the refrigerator so you want this to be covered completely in the jerk sauce so that every core in that meat absorbs it until it's bursting and overflowing with that jerk sauce as you see, 350 degrees, we're going to preheat the oven. This is uh, after we've pulled the meat out of the refrigerator for marinating overnight. I'm going to pop that in the oven, which has been 
preheat it at 350 degrees and we're going to leave it in from 35 to 45 minutes. And this is the end result, ladies and gentlemen. Look how delicious that looks. That color is amazing. The aroma coming off of it makes you want to slap your mama. have it the jerk chicken and oxtails thank you guys and i hope you're having an amazing day